I started playing soccer when I was four, and I just loved it. 17-year-old Carson Kimbrough of Stephenville, Texas, likes to compete, always has. She just has a passion for it. She loves how physical the game is and just how challenging it is. And she gets tossed around quite a bit, but she always pops back up. But during a playoff soccer game last year, Carson had the ball and went for a play. That's when it happened. When I went to pass it out to someone, they hit me late after I'd already passed the ball. So she knocked my knee out from underneath me. Well, I was just waiting for her to pop back up and she didn't pop right back up immediately. I just fell down and then I kind of balled up because it just felt like jello. Carson's injury was the beginning of a frustrating journey. She was diagnosed with a torn ACL, had ACL reconstruction surgery, and had hoped to start her rehab on her long road to recovery. But that didn't happen. She was still walking with a limp. Um, she still couldn't straighten her knees. She still couldn't bend it all the way. She was in a lot of pain. It just never went away. and just kept getting worse and worse to where I couldn't sleep at night. It would just ache. After two surgeries, Carson's recovery stalled. She and her mom were looking for a solution. In your BMO, that's what we call this part of the quad muscle here. They found it in Dr. Steve Singleton at Fort Worth Orthopedics, a Texas Health Physicians Group practice. He said, I can help you, I'm going to fix you, and we're going to be able to do this. So what the MRI found was a significant amount of scarring still in the knee, as well as still some inflammation in the joint. That then led to a new plan, and this is the femur. Dr. Singleton's strategy, a two-staged approach, entailing two operations. The first was to clean out scar tissue in the knee. Once the knee has had time to adequately recover from that surgery, the second surgery entails another reconstruction of the ACL. So he was doing things to prevent the things that happened the first two surgeries. He was trying to prevent that from happening again because he, he wanted to do as little trauma to her knee as, as he could possibly do. We knew then that we were on the right, right track. All right, ready? Six months after her ACL surgery with Dr. Singleton, Carson's recovery is light years ahead of where she had been. I'm progressing, getting new exercises. She's done more in the last two months from that last surgery than she was able to do in 10 months after the, the first surgeries. For Carson, it's gone great. Um, she has really regained her full range of motion. Her ACL reconstruction is healing great. She will be able to run. She'll be able to do everything just like she did before. I would definitely recommend Dr. Singleton. He's helped me so much. He's friendly. The whole staff of Fort Worth Orthopedics, they just seem to care genuinely about each person. To be a part of the process or a team and helping her work toward her goal of getting back to just walking and then running and then soccer is incredibly satisfying for me. I'm hoping to play in a reals and college or some kind of soccer or something like that just to get back into it and hopefully have fun with it.